Hi everybody, this is God's Sad for the Sad Truth. One of the defining tenets of evolutionary psychology is the idea that the human mind is comprised of domain-specific computational systems. The idea being that in the same way that our organs have each evolved to solve a specific adaptive problem, our minds have also evolved to solve problems that would have been recurring in our ancestral past, be it finding a mate, retaining a mate, uh, ascending the social hierarchy, uh, avoiding predators, uh, investing in kin, avoiding uh, poisonous foods, and so on and so forth. And so there would have been uh, dedicated computational systems that have evolved to specifically address each of these problems. Now, if you noticed uh, in the teaser image, I provided a photo of a Swiss army knife. And I believe that the first folks to have uh, offered uh, that metaphor of the human mind, uh, so the human mind as a Swiss army knife, were two of the pioneers of evolutionary psychology, the husband and wife team of John Tooby and Lita Cosmides, two of the most brilliant people that you could ever hope to meet. They are at uh, the University of California, Santa Barbara. And the idea behind the Swiss Army knife is really an apt one as a metaphor because it, it is precisely what we, are, what we mean when we're talking about domain specificity. So if you look at the Swiss Army knife, each of the various blades serves a unique function. And so the blade is not uh, functional across different uh, tasks. If you just had a knife, well, the knife might be used to cut butter or cut cheese or maybe, uh, you know, unscrew a, uh, a, a nail. Uh, but when you have a Swiss army knife, well, one, one is used to maybe... Uh, remove the cork of a wine bottle, the other one is used to cut cheese, the other one is used for some other purpose. And that's exactly why we say this: the human mind is a Swiss army knife, is how evolutionary psychologists view the human mind. We have these different systems, each of which has evolved to tackle a specific problem. Now this, by the way, doesn't mean that evolutionary psychologists don't recognize that the human mind is also made up of domain general mechanisms. So if you take sort of the granddaddy of domain general cognitive abilities. Well, general intelligence is precisely such a domain general ability. Uh, we could take our intelligence and apply it across multiple domains. And so it is transferable. It can help me uh, solve a calculus problem, or it could help me uh, appreciate a movie or read literature. And so that's a form of domain general ability. The difference between non-evolutionary psychologists and evolutionary psychologists is that uh, the former view the mind as comprised solely of these domain general mechanisms, whereas the evolutionary psychologists have argued that, yes, that is true, we do have these domain general mechanisms, but we also have dedicated domain-specific computational systems. I've uh, discussed this in the past, but I thought that I would uh, rediscuss this point uh, by bringing in this very apt uh, Swiss Army knife uh, metaphor. And by the way, there are many ways by which you could uh, try to identify how a particular, uh, if you like, innate ability uh, is such. So one possibility would be there are many, and I probably will discuss several of these in, in future uh, shows, and I've certainly written about this extensively. So for example, if you want to know whether some uh, uh, penchant is evolved or not, is something that we're born uh, in the world with it already, as opposed to learning it, well, you turn to developmental psychology. So for example, if you want to know whether uh, the preference for uh, symmetric faces is something that is learned or something that is innate, you take children who who are not yet at the stage where they've, uh, where they're not at the cognitive developmental stage where they can be socialized, and you demonstrate that they actually stare uh, longer at images of faces that are symmetric and actually those studies have been done and so there are all sorts of ways by which you uh, you could tease out uh, whether a particular uh, cognitive mechanism or emotional system 
or perceptual system is innate or not. And so again, this speaks to another fundamental tenet of evolutionary psychology, which is that the human mind is hardly tabula rasa, it's hardly uh, empty slate. And here, I would ask you to turn to the brilliant book by Steven Pinker, 2002, The Blank Slate, where he certainly talks about this. So this gives you a bit of a sense of how uh, some of the ways by which evolutionary psychologists might differ in terms of how they uh, perceive the architecture of the human mind as, as compared to other psychologists. There you have it, folks. I hope you're having a good day. I'll talk to you soon. Cheers. Bye.